What's up, hungry people? It's Rex with Eat Magazine, Eat OC Now. I'm here with Jack. We're at Heroes, and we're talking about giant plates of food and peanut shells and hundreds of beers on tap. So if you're into that kind of stuff, stick around. I had some black and white photos of my parents, and, and I realized that, you know what? Heroes just popped into my mind because my parents are my heroes. And that's kind of where the name came from. As I know now that I've had three grown children, you know, it takes a lot of work. And so the average, I think the average person is a hero, just raising kids and getting through life. So that's yeah. where the name came from. Well, let's talk about food, Jack. You've got this crazy menu. The meatloaf, it was actually Dudley Moore's recipe, the movie star. I actually got it out of a magazine in the dentist office one day. We made it and just said, hey, we got to put this on our menu. You can also have chili put over the top of it. Then our chili, Bud's famous chili, Bud was an old customer of ours. I said, Bud, you got to come down and make your chili for me. And we've had that chili for 28 years. And then all the burgers, just everything's just awesome on the menu. So why giant plates of food, Jack? We got that kitchen opened up. I said, everything's gotta be big. Everything's gotta be big, Texas style. And uh, it just it just grew from there. And so once you start, you can't stop. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so that might be something you might rethink if you went back to the beginning. Huh? A little bit, a little bit, yeah, maybe okay. a little bit. The huge glasses here. I mean, there's nothing small about heroes. No. Right? And you have gigantic glasses of water. Soda, and water, I see, correct. Why, what's, what's up with that? Uh, that was decided on one of my employees. I stepped out for a moment, uh, probably the first year we were opened up and I walked back in, I go, Haka, wh why do we have the big glassware out? And he said, because we we're so busy, I couldn't get back to refilling the sodas and waters on certain tables. So I just figured, you know, this would be easier for us. And so since that day, I said, okay, everything comes in big glassware. We have 129 handles. We're pouring at all times 119 different flavors of beer. So what's your favorite beer, Jack? Uh, Sierra Nevada Pale Ale, right out of Chico State. Basically one of my all-time favorites. Let's check your beer pouring uh, skills. Yeah. Are they as good as your bartenders? Absolutely. Cheers to you, Rex. Cheers to you, buddy. Oh, that's good. I like that beer. We got opened up and, and the kitchen was running a little bit slow and I go, I gotta give the customer something to do while they're waiting. And so the peanuts came about and it just, it grew from there. How many peanuts do you go through on an annual basis? 20, 30,000 bags a year. Black 60. Yeah, we're up there. You're big into antiquing, right? Yes, I am. That's, that's my hobby. I, I started antiquing before I opened up the first store. And so I just really enjoy going out and finding oddball stuff. So what's the weirdest piece of antique or art in here that you've got? Do you know what that is, Rex? No. Most people don't know what it is, but it's actually a bedpan. It's basically for uh, training swimmers in the Olympics. And it's a prosthetic leg. It would be nice to find out who actually owned that leg at one point in time. Bob came out of the MGM in Vegas, and then we got one of our scary guys. He supposedly came out of Disneyland. I can't verify that for sure, but I'm gonna say, what the heck, he came out of Disneyland. Your first original restaurant, how did you finance that? Uh, creatively, uh, borrowed on my little condo that I own, sold my car, sold my boat, and got credit cards. So you, you basically sold everything you had Correct. to open the first Heroes? Correct. Nine months later, I had the doors open. Since the day Heroes opened, when was that? Basically 28 years ago, March. And you still work in the restaurants every single day? Every day. Wow. Every day, seven days a week. Not unless I'm on vacation or I have to, you know, obviously right have other responsibilities too but pretty much you can catch me here every day of the week when you first opened up your wife was there as well i mean she girlfriend at the time was dating a girl uh, a couple years prior to opening up heroes she married a few years after that she was the bookkeeper have three great kids and all great so the way you run your staff is a little different as well correct they basically wait on every table they just don't have their certain section you'll never hear i'll get your waiter Right, let me go get your waiter. That's the last thing you want to hear. You want to have the problem solved at the moment. They all work together. It's one big team, it's one big happy family. Is it actually a big happy family, Jack? Absolutely. We have a very low turnover here. Oh yeah? yeah absolutely. You got people that have been working here for? 28 years. Oh, okay. Yeah. From the very beginning. Absolutely. After 28 years, it's a multi-generational thing that's happening now. That's the crazy part, because you'll, you'll see pictures on the wall and families will come in and I'm looking at this little girl going, oh my God, I remember you, you know, when you were five years old, now you're bringing your five-year-old in. Uh, which is pretty awesome.